Revelation chapter 2, verses 18 through 23 read, And to the angel of the church of Thyatira write, These things, says the Son of God, who his eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know your works, love, service, faith, and your patience. And as for your works, the last are more than the first. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you, because you allow that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants, to commit sexual immorality, and to eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. Indeed, I will cast her into a sickbed, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation, unless they repent of their deeds. I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the hearts and minds. And I will give to each one of you according to your works. When I was younger and I did something wrong, I felt that if I wasn't punished immediately, I got away with it. That is a mindset that many have today, and that since we got away with it, we can just do it again. After all, it's not that bad what we did, right? God here gives a warning to Jezebel that she is not getting away with it, but that she's being given time to repent. That time, though, is only temporary. This is true not only for her, but for those who participated in her evil as well. If they do not heed the warning, they will be punished. The church in Thyatira should have known that sin was taking place and stopped that sin, yet they did not. We must make sure that that can never be said about us. No, it's not only the elder's job. It's up to everyone in the congregation to notice sin and to stop it before it leavens a lump of said congregation. When we sin, we might think that we too are getting away with it, but that certainly is not the case. If we mistake God's patience with allowance, a very harsh lesson will be learned. I just hope it's not too late. If Jezebel was given time to repent, then so too are we given time to repent before our lives are over. No matter what sin we commit, God, so long as we live, is giving us another opportunity to repent. And not only that, but another opportunity for, re for us to reach others and try to help them to obey the gospel as well.